hat. such a long time oh my god it's been such a long time but we are back we have big news as you may have seen by the title we are pregnant we are pregnant we have been pregnant for a while um i'm almost done being pregnant i'm uh, currently as we are filming this in week 34 yes the baby is almost here so we wanted to sit down and do this video with you we have been filming all this time or especially yeah we've been filming all this time uh things that are relevant and that has to do with the pregnancy i do want to say that i wanted to enjoy this pregnancy in pride in just in, in in private and not for any particular reason than anxiety i have so many things going on or had so many things going on with my health that i just wanted to take my time and just enjoy this film everything of course for you guys but also for uh to have it later as memories but yes that's the only reason and also, also that we could, could enjoy it yes no but i said that for myself okay. and yeah so yeah that's that so welcome to this vlog we're gonna take you to the time where we were finding out that I was pregnant. A, B, V, P, R, V. We have no time left. No time to set it. One minute, I think. One minute is. Sixty seconds, right? Nog steeds, ja. Huh? You're so nervous that you forgot how yeah. long a minute is? Yeah. Okay. That's nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Langste minuut van mijn leven. This damn minute better be over quick. Jij hebt het niet goed gedaan? Wat is dat? Ik denk dat Brett net. Wacht hè. You can't read that shit now. Also? No, I don't know what it means now. What do you mean that? There must in both a streep be, toch? Yeah. And toen je het pakte, was er in beide alle streep? Ja. Yeah. En licht er wel, maar ja, yeah, er is toch, daar is daar toch een streep. Ja, nee, neem je. Zwanger. Don't post this shit. I'm not gonna post anything. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Oh my god, I'm pregnant. Look. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna calm down. Bye. First of all, my voice, yes. I had a terrible cold going on during Christmas and New Year's. So if my voice is cracking and weird, that is why. But after finding out that I was pregnant by doing the pregnancy test at home, I was taking pregnancy tests every single week. Yeah, <laughs> and that's crazy. when you informed the hospital. Yes. 
Yes, I had to inform the hospital because I was on some medication for my glucose levels and I needed to get off of the medication as soon as I would find out that I'm pregnant. So when I found out that I was pregnant, I called them and I went by for my appointment that had to do with diabetes. And it was a whole lot of appointments that they made right away for me. Um, you had to arrange a lot with work to yep. attend as many as possible. They really let me go to every appointment yeah, that he wanted to go to. Yes, so yeah. they also were very support. They are very supportive. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And other than that, I just enjoyed my glow, and I was getting so many compliments on it. Uh, from you guys but also from people on the random people on the street which is crazy but yeah that was just after me finding out because I just went MIA and then it was my first ultrasound day so first of all sorry if you can hear my fan but it is bloody hot and I am not planning to suffocate and die today <laughs> I am uh, currently doing my makeup because today I have my first ultrasound and I'm so excited. Excited and nervous at the same time. <sighs> I've been waiting for this moment for so long and I'm just super excited, oh my God. I, uh, there are little to no people that know it right now. Even my own sister doesn't know. Um, it's just me, my mom and Ben who know and other than that nobody else knows but i thought it was really important to at least tell my mom because of course she has two children i never had a child before and i'm not really sure on the things that i can and cannot do one moment you're super excited then the next moment you're super worried and concerned you hope that everything is right and going well i had like a few consults at the hospital because of my diabetes of course but uh, no, none of those appointments is really like about the baby. I had um, like appointments with my dietist that gave me like tips and tricks on how to eat properly and correctly. They're currently like also following up on my glucose levels so that they know like uh, how they have to treat me for my diabetes now that I'm pregnant. Oh my God, that's so crazy to say. And now today I have my first appointment in which I'm gonna get my first ultrasound and see if everything is okay with the baby. The idea makes me sick and crazy nervous. It's just, it's wild. Today I will hear how far along I am, even though I know how far along I am because I keep track of everything. Tomorrow I will be seven weeks. I'm going along by the way to the appointment because my mom had to work and Benny also has to work. Even though I do think that it's for the best that I'm just going by myself today because I am just super nervous about everything and I just really want to hear that everything is okay, you know? I really, really want to hear that so bad. I'm just so excited about everything. So yeah, I'm now currently getting ready. Like I already said, you can't see anything yet. I will show you my belly in a little bit, but you can't you can't really see anything yet. I've just been feeling bloated and up and everything. So maybe I look a little bloated, but just the idea that something is growing inside of me that I'm creating life right now is just magical. I have no words to explain how happy I am. Other than that, I've been feeling really, really well. I have uh, not been feeling sick at all, just tired. My manager at work knows. I trusted one colleague at work with my secret, just to make things easier for myself. So happy. Anyway, we're gonna finish getting ready and then we will talk when uh, it's time to go to the hospital. All right, amiga, I am all ready. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this green knitted dress now that I still can. And I'm wearing this jacket on top of it. And then these slides from Zara, really cute. But yeah, a not so prego outfit. This is the belly. It's not looking like anything. I feel like this is just my normal belly. Just a little bloated, that's all. I feel a little bloated. 
but I don't think if you know me personally that you would really be able to tell unless you're my mom you know because she know she knew before I even knew so that's a little strange but if you know me on a day-to-day -day basis I think you think I look normal right now because this is just something that I would wear regardless so yeah let's go Just take a look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be Okay, we go. we are here I'm so excited, I'm half an hour early So That won't be the problem Ancestors to ask them to help me and to guide me through this process. Let's go. Ik ga doen, hè. ik ga okay. gewoon even snaken, ik ah, okay. ga de bloeddruk en zo nemen. Dat is goed. Dat is spannend. En ben je bij de huisarts geweest voor een bloedname of zo? Um, of eigenlijk hier in het ziekenhuis, omdat ik ook diabetes heb. Ja. En ze hebben dan, ik denk vorige week, niet vorige week, maar de week daarvoor, vrijdag, ja. hebben ze hier een bloedafname ah, ja. gedaan. Ja. Oké, okay, I survived. I survived the intake. The doctor is coming in a little bit to perform the echo or this ultrasound. I'm so nervous. Zo, kijk eens. Ah, ik zit normaal gezien onze baby. Oh. De kleurtjes erbij zitten, dan zie je het nog duidelijker. Oh. Een hartslag aanwezig. Oh. Dan moest ik even luisteren. Luisteren! Ja. Ah. Oh mijn god! Alright, so after the first ultrasound, I was so emotional. I sent um, the video to my mom. I also sent it to you. You were at work. You were tearing up, but you were also. We made an agreement that we wouldn't tell anyone. And then after this, I think everything kind of went a little bit out of the window. Because I think you told Dana, you told Ivar. She came with a brilliant idea like, yes, you know, because of my history, let's wait three months. And after we tell people, well, after we, then we, we will announce it. Yeah. I said, okay. So the next day I'm coming from work and she's smiling and giggling. And she's like, yeah, I have to tell you something. I'm like, what? Yeah, I told my mother. After that, she's coming to tell me that her mother told a colleague at work. And I was like, God damn. <laughs> Anyways, that wasn't really That's bad. when I started telling the you, closest people. You, you started telling people right after I sent you the video. No, it's not true. Yes, that's true. Because I remember that you had, um, you heard the heartbeat of the baby. Oh, I told, I, my, I told my dad. <coughs> yeah, but after you heard the heartbeat, you couldn't hold your lips anymore. And it's fine, it's fine. Yes, because you were really emotional about it. You said it's Where's my phone? Benayo, let's not make it too long. You, that's what you did. I'm telling you what I did and you want to change my story. I'm not wanna, I don't want to change your story. He did tell Dana after uh, the ultrasound. We checked it and I was right. Because he heard the heartbeat, he was so emotional. He told Dana and I believe also Ivar. 
Okay? Yes, it's possible. Yeah. Possible? We had a little miscommunication. Yeah. Don't okay. worry. But she's right. Yeah. She has no more needs at this time. No, I do not. <laughs> I absolutely do not. <laughs> We just ordered stuff for our baby and don't ask me why I'm crying. It's just I always wanted this, you know, and I can't believe it's happening. And everything I manifested is coming true. <laughs> Hi Dad. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my god. After the ultrasound. Yeah. Uh we needed to start preparing. Um the room where Jenny had her office space and where I was drawing. Mm -hmm. um, that's gonna be the baby's room. So yeah, it had to be a lot of preparations needed to be made. Yes, um, but also we made a list because that's where we're gonna mm -hmm. go to next. We made a list of all the things that we would need, and it was so overwhelming in the beginning because if babies are a lot of money, and it's not like nobody talks about that. We were prepared. But in the beginning, I especially, I was really, really overwhelmed with how much stuff we would need for this baby because she literally is coming into this world with nothing. So it was just crazy, um, the amount of stuff that we needed. Can you hear anything? What's on? I can hear you. Hmm? I can hear you. You hear me? Why do you want to know what me and my baby are talking about? Okay, I'm sorry. Nosy little Jenny. Centimeter, onze okay. baby groeit voortreffelijk. Jee. Ja. 17 centimeter. 17. Wow. Heel belangrijk, mooie plas vruchtwater. Mm -hmm. En de placenta die gaat vooral op de achterkant van de baarmoeder liggen. Dus dat betekent dat je een korte beweging gaat voelen. Oké. Okay. En het geslacht, kunt u dat al zien? Het geslacht. Even kijken. Fantastisch. Helpt niet om het te zien. <laughs> oh my god. And guess what? The baby did not let us see the gender. So, so now we're gonna have to take a blood sample for them to check what the baby is. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Dad? Yes. We may have to wait another week or two. Yeah. There's no other choice. Mm -mm. So as you can see, we had another ultrasound and we thought we would know the gender this time. Yeah. But the problem uh, is just we had a nip test before that in August. I think we had like a nip test um, and then we were supposed to find out the gender by that. But um, here in Belgium, 2% of pregnant women, the nip test fail with them and apparently i am <laughs> one of the two percent people it's for no particular reason it was just that the baby didn't like make enough dna for us to find out i really really strongly believe that it was a boy up until uh we she went... had a dream yes <laughs> until i had a dream uh, in which baby girl was so mad at me for thinking that she was a boy because she was telling me like, yeah, you manifested me. You always asked for a girl, you even named me already. And how can you think that I'm a boy? She was so mad. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So the day that we went to the gynecologist, we were, we were able to find out, or we were supposed to be able to find out what the gender was, but she just turned her back to us. She was always and, dancing. The, yeah. the, 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 the ultrasound The before, previous ones, yes. She was dancing and that day she really just turned her back. Yeah, she turned her hat and she put her hand like this, like no face, no case. 
nobody is seeing nothing in my business today. So after this, we the doctor decided that we needed to take a second nip test so we could be sure. And then the results came back. I don't know exactly the date anymore, but they came back in September. And I was on the phone with my mom. It was 11-11 and I just opened it and saw that it was a girl. Yeah, she, she had us waiting for a long time, but we were so, so happy to find out that month. it is a girl, but we had to wait a long time. She was making it hard, but I really think that's... Even the baby shower was canceled because of that, right? Yes, even the baby shower, we, no, the gender reveal. We were supposed to do a gender reveal, um, but that was canceled because she did not cooperate and my parents were going on vacation. And then my sister said like, yeah, you know, I miss the times where you just say that it's a boy or it's a girl. And I was like, yeah, you're kind of right. Does that Nisha exist? Yeah, you have that. Shut up. Yeah, you do. <laughs> he has that Nisha. I don't have anything this time. He has that Nisha. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, how we found out that we're having a girl. Someone, <laughs> someone, Oh, Tante Jan is here. Wil je Tante Jan spreken? Tante. Hi, Kaya. Hi. Hi, Livy. Kaya kent je niet. De baby is nog in mijn buik. Ben je buik zien? Kijk. Daar is de baby nog. <laughs> All right, let's talk about pregnancy cravings. Did I have any crazy pregnancy cravings? No, but you had, you had, you know what I'm, I'm very surprised of? That yeah. you don't crave sushi. Yeah, yeah. I, I like sushi. I want to eat it, but it's not like I'm going crazy because I can't have it, which I, normally I am. I need my sushi fix every month if it's possible. But no, during this pregnancy, no. Because you found the. Uh... Yeah. But we, we are going to Takumi ramen, like ramen noodles soup, but like the bougie one. That's my new thing. And it's been great during pregnancy. But other than that, like I love pastries from the bakery a lot. Um, I do like McDonald's every now and then, but like when I crave like a burger, I like to go, but it's not like crazy mm -hmm. amounts. And other than that, because I have diabetes, I need to eat homemade foods. Um, so I try to eat as much as possible at home. Uh, for breakfast, that can be oatmeal, little pancakes, but also like uh, sandwiches like we used to have in Suriname with like sausage paper. I like uh, a tuna, tuna, tuna salad, tuna. yeah. Things like that, normal things. But my things that I like are very specific things and not like pickles with ketchup or pickles with, yeah, I don't know, crazy stuff that people have, crazy, crazy cravings. Not like that, but I was just eating at home for the most part and um, no, no crazy stuff. But here's a little B-roll of most things that I ate while pregnant. <laughs>
try this. This is so delicious. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm filming you. Mm -hmm. Look at your baby belly, baby belly, Jenny. <laughs> <coughs> I'm eating a banana because my uh, sugar levels were a little low and I'm about to go to sleep and otherwise she will be waking me. Yep. I'm no fool. I know she will. She's gonna wake up in your belly looking for food. No. And then she will terrorize you. Benny said something the other day and I was like, what if she's crying if she's giving you that feeling? And ever since, ever, whenever I feel that, I need to get up right away to eat because I can't imagine her crying in my belly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is so sad. Oh. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Good night. Good night. Cheers, Benny. Cheers. Cheers. try to spend a lot of time together uh, while it's still the two of us. I really recommend that if you are having your first baby to really enjoy having like little dates and stuff. Your last dates. Yeah, your last <laughs> dates as like, you know, free and being able to go wherever you want and stuff. But yeah, we do those a lot still. And uh, we should definitely plan one before my due date, no? Another thing that I find really, really important, regardless if you're pregnant or not, is self-care. I really thought it was nice to go and get my nails done, um, just do my face at home, put a little mask on, use sunscreen. That is really, it should be part of your everyday thing, but you can have like a pregnancy mask if you don't use proper sunscreen because you have more higher pigmentation due to the fact that you're pregnant. So I really recommend if you are expecting to really take care of yourself, do your self care, do your skin care, uh, use products that don't have like a lot of chemicals in them because everything that you use on your skin can affect your baby. That's how what I was told by my pharmacist. So I really was taking really good care and am still taking very good care of myself with all of that. Take your vitamins, check with your gynecologist and your doctor or vitamins you need because all of those can really be beneficial um, with your baby, for your baby, for yourself, but also with the care after. So I think that's really important. But self-care, especially during pregnancy, is really, really key. Dat is perfect, dank u. Dit gesprek kan opgenomen worden voor training voor einde. 
So rude. Why is nobody talking about the paperwork and the amount of phone calls and all that shebang that you have to take care of when you're having a baby? Huh? Nobody told us, but it was so much phone calls that we had to make with um, our health insurance to make sure how the baby is going to be insuranced, how I'm insuranced, um, how can I have like my own room when I'm going to get birth? Like it's so crazy. Who's going to pay it? Who's going to pay for what? What what share do I pay? Yes, it's crazy. And then here in Belgium, you have also something that you register the baby as his daughter or his child before you give birth so that when the baby is born he can go register the baby by himself but also those kind of it's so much information so yeah having a baby is also doing a lot of research you we did it the fruit flow, how do you call those yeah and the, a doula we needed to arrange our own doula that is going to come home at home and after i give birth and one for the hospital one for the hospital oh it's crazy and then maybe things that you need to arrange with your work because i wasn't able i'm not able to go to the office anymore because my mobility is going backwards it's just it's just great it's declining a little bit you know um so all those things that you need to take care of nobody talks about that but it's a lot and i'm really happy that we have it all figured out and ready now because that was a headache it was just a week long of calling things and it's just crazy it's just crazy the amount of stuff that you need to do and i was just so surprised because nobody talks about that Amiga, today we are at the town hall. We are getting married. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, Benny is going to already tell the people from the townhouse that I'm pregnant with his baby, that he's the baby daddy. And then when the baby is born, he can just go and register her as his daughter. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> Na esquina e um banguelo sorrindo de alegria, doce Bahia no alto da ladeira, aperitivo e piscina. Nobody ever told me that when you're pregnant, your teeth can take a hit. It doesn't happen with all women, but some women. So yeah, I also lost a tooth. <laughs> here, we, here we go, here we go. I will tell you more about it. Good morning. We are getting ready to go to the dentist because I had a little emergency last night. Well, yeah, it's, it's an emergency now. Last night when it happened, it didn't hurt, but now it's starting to get worse and worse. So something nobody really tells you is that your teeth can suffer during pregnancy and i've been having this tooth breaking the whole time and now i think it broke up on a point that it cannot be fixed anymore so i think i'm gonna have it pulled today and you want to hear this like actually benny had an appointment today because our dentist she is so popular that normally you can't call right now and just get an appointment today so he has an appointment at 9 30 and we're gonna go early and see if the doctor can see me or the dentist me instead of benny i don't see a point why they wouldn't because i'm in pain i can't even put my teeth on top of each other so he's gonna make a new appointment and give his appointment to me so she can help me pray for me guys but yeah it's all worth it it's all worth it okay i had not a very good night of sleep because it started hurting in the middle of the night and i took one paracetamol which i am allowed to have but i can't take anything um that is stronger than that because it can harm my baby and also i can't take any um is that anesthetics i think you call it anesthesia i can't take any of that because that's also harmful for the baby now we'll make an appointment for the implantologist right away 
um, to like get everything measured up to replace the tooth as soon as I finish this pregnancy because who wants to walk around without a tooth? Not me, you know? But I mean, <laughs> creating a beauty is pain. And um, this is what it is. This is what you get, man. This is what you get. Nobody talks about this. And this is not, I don't think, I don't know if this is really common, but I am one of those people apparently that all my teeth suffer during pregnancy. <sighs> but I'll take it. I'll take it. It's fine. Anyways, gonna finish eating this and then we'll talk later. the dentist waiting for my turn Penny quickly went to the bank but they were able to switch me to his appointment so they will only be able to help me today but at least I'm being helped so thank God for that but yeah <laughs> good morning Amiga I just um, woke up and just came into the baby room I do this every morning and I always make sure that I untie the curtains, put them in the little holders, turn on the light, and just I just like to always take it in. And one thing that always makes me emotional is her little closet. We have so many items for her already. I don't know why I'm crying. This is so stupid. But this is the first thing that I've bought her when i was still in the uncertain days and it's just this little suit this little pajama footsie pajama from zara and every time i look at this and i know that i'm this far this morning she was kicking and moving and i am just so grateful for to be this far <laughs> And to be able to experience this it's just really really crazy it's also hormones by the way but yeah i'm just so grateful <laughs> for for this whole journey that i'm able to experience it all and just that you know by the way i forgot to give you an update on the to the whole tooth situation um i need to go back today to get it extracted so wish me luck but the tooth broke off like there's nothing sticking out anymore so i think there's a piece still in the root if, if that makes sense so i'm gonna ask them today if they can leave it till after i've given birth to remove it with anest anesthesia you know so i'm gonna i'm gonna ask them that but for now it doesn't bother me or anything but i just don't want it to like get inflamed or get any other issues so i'm gonna let get it checked up today and leave it like that but nobody talks about that that you can literally that your teeth literally will take a hit but some, some women not everyone but i heard about this before and i was like oh my god god please don't let me be one of those people but i am but i'll take it i mean i've been uh i've been feeling so good is if this is the only thing and i'm not even in pain then I'll take it, you know, I'll take it. De buik zeg. Wie heb je daar, Jennifer? Safi. Mm. 
Hallo, Safan. Hallo. Hallo. Ga je mama vandaag weer wakker houden? Hm? Een schatje. Ah, ze is bezig. Mm -hmm. Klopt toch? Wanneer niet? <laughs> Ga je mama wakker houden vandaag, Saf? Ah, ze is vrij dat je mag er wakker houden. <laughs> Je mag haar wakker houden. Heel de, heel de avond face in haar buik. Hm? Trappen tegen die ribben. Damn. <laughs> Just practice on your kick, oké? Okay? En uh, ook uh, salto's draaien. Oh, wauw. Hm? En dan morgenochtend wanneer ze moe is, dan ga je rusten, schatje. <laughs> Zo gemeen. Dan ga je lekker rusten. Zegen op je duimpje. Huh? Duimelotje. Duimelotje. <laughs> Trouwens, je moet ons nog zeggen als je van die bijnaam couscous houdt. En dan moeten we oma zeggen dat ze moet stoppen. Als je maar is, mag je geen couscous noemen. Hè? No. Je maar is en safarites. Safarites. <laughs> Goeie zijn wanneer je hier bent. Goed. Nu kan ik lief zijn voor mama en dan is mama ook lief voor jou. Oh. Want mama houdt van huilen, hè? Zomaar huilt ze. <laughs> Zomaar huilt ze, Safi. Mm -hmm. Grote meisje is 32 weken. Mm -hmm. Je hebt nog acht te gaan. Saf, dan mag ik je ook houden. Ja. Yeah. Want nu geniet alleen mama van jou. Oh. <laughs> So Jenny, up till now, how did you experience the pregnancy? Very, very chill with the pregnancy itself. Uh, I was really enjoying it. I had a very easy pregnancy. I wasn't sick at all. Uh, just a few times that I was nauseous, that was it. Um, also, how I'm carrying this baby. I expected to have like a very big belly by now, but the size of my belly is okay, so yeah. And my doula also told me that it's craziness to just compare bellies because everyone is different. Um, so my baby is growing according to what she is supposed to and all that is fine, but all women show differently. I started showing now for maybe a month. A month ago I started showing. And, but, it, and it depends on what you're wearing. Yeah, it depends on what I wear because I do love baggy clothing. I wasn't, I didn't have to buy a lot of clothes at all because normally I don't like really tight clothing at all. So I bought like a few leggings, like three and like this overall thing I also bought, but that's basically it. And this week I also bought like new underwear because my current underwear, I just really like spandex underwear, but sometimes the baby is not having fun when I when I wear those she really makes me feel uncomfortable so I had to invest in a few like new underwears and stuff but that's basically it I've been really really enjoying it and it's I feel so blessed to be able to experience this because when you're going through hardships you start to wonder like is there still room for me to also become a mom and I was struggling with those things. That one time I was just going to the city on Wednesday by myself and I felt so like a sadness washing over me that I was like, yeah, when am I gonna have my child to do fun things with, um, you know, um, and to do to spend my Wednesdays with. And I'm just so, so grateful for the fact that my baby is on, on her way and I'm gonna have my little bestie that I can do all my fun things with and just be a good mom too and all that. But you're already claiming your bestie. Yes, she's gonna be my little bestie. <laughs> yeah. And you? What I came to find out about pregnancy is how little people tell you. Yeah. Uh, and they just tell you their highlight reel and not. It's yes, it's really it's really the highlights that you're getting from people, and it's not that in a negative way, mm -hmm. but. Um, there comes a lot with an, um, being getting a baby because yeah. um, we had to go take vaccinations 
um, the, a lot, the amount of planning that you need to do that comes with it. Just like Yanni said, um, the paperwork that you need to make sure that it's okay because <coughs> especially with a baby coming up, um, going to a doula, the things they explain to you, how the labor will be, um, the, the amount of information she gave to us and 90% of it was new. Yeah. Um, even with following workshops, you still don't get enough information. You, every time we go, we get new information, and we're like, "Wow, this." When does it stop? When does it stop? You yeah. know, and um, I really thought that when you go, you just they ju you just follow orders, but they just give you the guidelines, and actually, you are the sh the the captain of your own labor. And what I also like a little bit envy is that the connection that you have because you can feel her move and uh, but you can feel her too now on the outside yeah you can feel her but this little girl when she notices that you want her to do something she's all of a sudden she's very quiet yes yes like she's looking from the inside from, nope, okay i'm not gonna do that yes. like i try to film the motions on my belly so many times i've seen them with my own eyes yes. i swear to you as soon as i take my camera to film it she stops she stops and she loves her daddy she loves her daddy when he tells her to let me sleep she lets me sleep when he tells her to keep me awake she keeps me awake it happened once well i didn't i didn't i didn't expect her to like really terrorize her the whole night she did and i asked her the next day like please keep it down in yeah, there and she did and let your mom sleep because she needs the rest and i've never played that joke again yeah. but also he comes home from work Work and maybe she didn't hear his voice all day and she hears me talking to him I think I like to believe that and ma'am she's moving she's moving all around like hey hello hello how what about me what about me and he's doing like massages every night massaging the belly talking to her and she really reacts she really reacts so I think I have a daddy's girl on my hand but I'm excited because she's your daughter. we are excited yeah we are very excited so yeah, that's it for this video. I'm pregnant, I'm almost there. I hope you enjoyed this one. There are a few more coming and I'm super, super excited to start sharing the actual me being a mom, us being parents journey with you on YouTube. So I hope you will enjoy that. And since I'm a lifestyle channel, my life just really reflects in my video, so I hope that's okay. But yes, we're gonna be parents. You ready? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes. Anyways, see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with our journey. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Uh, I guess you say what can make me Girl. <laughs> Talking about my girl, my girl. <laughs>